Hey guys, Mike Straysinger here. This is the new Sports Nashville High School Sports Show. We're going to talk about uh, you know things in the high school sports world in the Nashville area. Um, we're going to look back at last week's games. This is the basketball season now. Look, look back at last week's games, maybe preview some of this week's games. Uh, to get, and then uh, just go over some other things. Wrestling season as well going on. Bowling uh, will be going, state championships will be happening soon. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just get into a, a kind of review last year's um, state championship basketball season real quick and then kind of give you my predictions for, for this year coming up. Um, so we'll start off with girls, um, division, uh, district, division one, single A, D1A. Uh, last year it was Gibson County over Loretto, 50 to 42. Um, and our region winners, what I'll do, I'll give you the region winners just to recap. Uh, these are the teams that made the state tournament. Oneida, Midway, Clark Range, Eagleville, Summertown, Loretto, Greenfield, and Gibson County. And uh, interestingly, um, all seven of the eight were district winners. So it's very important to win your district in this classification. Summertown came in as a number two seed out of, the, uh, out of their district. And then, uh, so, like I said, Gibson County beat Loretto. Uh, however, Gibson County loses a bunch, and Loretto returns Carly Weathers, Raven Chance, and uh, Ken Kelsey Kenzie Weathers. And I'm picking uh, Loretto to win it all in, in Division I single A. Double A girls, double A. Uh, last year's region winners were South Green, Granger, DeKalb County, Macon County, Cheatham County, Marshall County, Westview, and Covington. Uh, Cheatham County won 43 to 40. Uh, Cheatham County uh, returns a lot, and I'm going to pick them to win it all again. Um, I like, the, but I do like Macon County, and then East and Maplewood locally have a good chance as well. Um, in AAA, girls AAA, Science Hill, Oak Ridge, Bradley Central, Riverdale, Lebanon, Mount Juliet, Mount Arlington, and Houston uh, made the tournament. Um, Bradley Central won 46 to 44 over Houston, um, and I'm going to go with Bradley, a uh, favor to repeat again. Bradley to repeat again, but watch out for Mount Juliet, Lebanon, and Beach locally. I think they all have a good chance. All right, in Division Two Single A, last year Providence Christian beat CAK 41 to 29, but Providence lo lost a ton. They they had a some, a great team, but a lot of seniors, they're gone. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, I think it's wide open, but I'm going to go with CPA. Uh, I think they have a real good chance to win it all, led by uh, Carrington Washburn, a great player from CPA, just recently became CPA's all-time leading scorer. And I think she's got what it takes, and, this, and Becky LeGate's team has what it takes to get the team to the state, and, and I think they're gonna, they have a really good shot at winning it all. Uh, Division Two, Double A, uh, Ensworth. Tigers. This might be the best team I've ever seen. They have uh, five players that could all play D1 uh, basketball uh, or D1 sports. And Dontavia Wagner, senior, only senior on the team. She's going to North Carolina State. Then they have the great Kyle Wynn, who's going to be able to pick wherever she wants to go, I think. Then the two Cambridge sisters, uh, Kennedy, a sophomore, and a fresh, I mean, sorry, eighth grader, Jelani Cambridge. They're phenomenal. And then Annabelle Friss, just a junior, and she's already committed to Stanford to play lacrosse. So this team is so good, so talented, so smart. They play very, they're very aware. Uh, great team. Uh, ends worth a clear favorite in Division II, AA girls. Um, now moving over to the boys, Division II, D Division one a uh, Last year, Columbia Academy beat Humboldt 75 to 60 but Columbia Academy is gone They're, they've moved over to Division 2 so uh, this is kind of wide open other qualifiers Johnson City Cosby Fayetteville Eagleville Columbia Academy McKenzie Humboldt and Manassas uh, like I said Columbia Academy has gone to D2 Humboldt uh, lost a lot this is gonna be wide open I'm gonna just go kind of go out on a limb here I'm gonna pick Eagleville to win it all in Division 2 and uh, Division 1 single A Division two, double A boys, um, Austin East, Fulton, Brainerd, Howard, Pearl Cone East, Mitchell, Wooddale made the tournament last year. 
Only one of those teams was a district champion. So this thing is just very, very wide open. Uh, Pearl Cone and East, very talented. All have good shots. Nolensville, Jackson Southside, Wooddale to, uh, is likely to repeat. But uh, I, I, if I have to pick somebody, I'm going to pick, pick Wooddale. Uh, but watch out for Pearl Cone. Very talented. And um, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's a long way to, the, to Murfreesboro. We'll see how they do. Division one, double A, triple A last year, Sevier County, Bearden, Cleveland, Brentwood, Franklin, Whitehaven, Memphis East, and Oakland all made the made the tournament. Um, it was Bearden over Memphis East, 83 to 68. I thought that was a bit of a surprise. Um, the winning winning the district is very important here. Only uh, two teams made it that did not win their district. Uh, now Cane Ridge looks good early. Oak Ridge looks really good early. Um, Mount Juliet, Hillsborough, Dark Horses. Um, I'm going to go with Whitehaven to win or Oak Ridge. I'm, if I've got to pick, I'm going to go ahead and pick Oak Ridge. I saw them at the um, Next Level Tournament at, over at CPA earlier uh, a few weeks ago. So I'll pick Oak Ridge to win it all. In uh, Division Two, Single A Boys, uh, Knoxville Webb won last year 75-40 to 40 over Tipton Rosemark. Uh, but Webb School of Bell Buckles got Keon Johnson coming back, Mr. Basketball. He's already won it twice, I think. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we might have a Webb School against the Webb School. Webb, Knoxville Webb versus the Webb School in our finals. And I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, um, Webb School of Bell Buckle to win it all. Why not? In Division II AA, uh, Briarcrest is the team to beat there with uh, Mr. Basketball Kennedy Chandler returning. Saw, he saw him a couple weeks ago at the next level tournament. Phenomenal player. So Division II AA, uh, Briarcrest boys won it all. That's going to do it for my predictions. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you this, this week's schedule. This is today I'm talking to you. It's, um, um, what day is this? Monday, January six so here's the games tuesday january 7th and friday january 10th uh do the metro teams first uh antioch at hills this is tuesday antioch at hillwood glencliff at cane ridge pearl cone at east nashville huge game hillsborough at mcgavick that'll be a big game uh hillwood at antioch stratford at hume fog overton at hunters lane mlk at maplewood and white's creek at republic on friday we'll have glencliff at antioch Hillwood at Cane Ridge, Maplewood at East, that ought to be wild too. Uh, Hunters Lane at Hillsboro, that'll be a very good game. Republic at Hume Fog, MLK at Pearl Cone, McGavick at Overton, that ought to be very entertaining, and Whites Creek at Stratford. Um, for the private schools, there's 27 private schools in the in the Middle Tennessee area, 17 of those are in Davidson County or, or Williamson County, and those are the teams I'm going to focus on. Um, so here we go, uh, Tuesday the 7th, uh, Ensworth, Ensworth is, uh, sorry, Tuesday, Ensworth will be, uh, hosting Pope John Paul, and then Friday at Lipscomb, Harpeth Hall Friday at Father Ryan, NBA Father, uh, at Father Ryan on Friday, um, Father Ryan hosts on Tuesday, Father Ryan will host Lipscomb, then the Harpeth Hall NBA thing on Friday. Brentwood Academy at John Paul II on Friday. FRA versus Columbia Academy on Tuesday. Then Thursday, they have a game on Thursday at Z Zion Christian. CPA versus Nashville Central Christian on Tuesday. And at Providence Christian on Friday. BGA versus Zion on Tuesday. And at the Webb School on Friday. DCA, at they'll be at Davidson on Tuesday. And at Ezel on Friday. Ezel will be hosting DCA on Friday. Grace Christian uh, up in Franklin uh, at Providence on Tuesday and at Colum uh, hosting Columbia Academy on Friday. Davidson Academy will be uh, hosting DCA on Tuesday and at Mount Juliet Christian on Friday. Good Pasture hosts NCS on Tuesday, National Christian School, and at Clarksville Academy on Friday. National Christian School, like I said, will be at Good Pasture on Tuesday and hosting Friendship on Friday. And Lipscomb will be at Father Ryan on Tuesday and hosting Lipscomb on Friday. Hope you all kept up with that. Now, you can catch all these schedules on the TWSWA website. And you got to go to the, the TWSWASports.com and then 
click on the sport you want and then click on schedules this is where also where you can find results there, there's a new thing going on where they coaches are catching on you can enter your score in there and their TWSAA is also partnered with Max Preps and the way I think it's working right now, and this will get worked out, but more and more people are doing this. You can put your score in on Max Preps, or you can put your score in on TWSAA. But watch this. Right now, if you put your score in on TWSAA website, it will go to Max Preps. Okay, they'll, they'll, they'll f it feeds to Max Preps. Now, if you put it in on Max Preps, it does not necessarily go to TWSAA. I think we're going to get that worked out. I'm going to get clarification on that. So that's it. Uh, so a little preview of uh, last year's season, a little review of last year's season, who I think is going to win this year, and then this, this week's schedule. Oh, wrestling. I forgot to tell you about wrestling. I did all this work. Uh, over the weekend, there was the, the Johnny Drennan uh, eight, Class of 85 Memorial Tournament over at Father Ryan. Great tournament. 30 teams from six states. Uh, this is open to all di uh, districts and classifications. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to run down the winners for you. The 106-pound division, uh, third place local winners, uh, top eight finishers. 106 pounds, Grant Myers from Blackman, fourth place, Blake Palmer from Beach, fifth place, Owen Goble from Franklin, 113-pound class. First place, Justin Bradford from Blackman, Blackman. Third, seventh was Matt Oberlander from Father Ryan, 120-pound class. Third place, Calvin Eason from Ryan, 6th place Chase Eeks from Friendship, 7th place Ross Keith from Lebanon, 126 pounds. 2nd place Trey Bates from Beach, 6th uh, was Will Higgins of NBA, 7th Aiden Breno from Clarksville, sorry, sorry Aiden. Uh, 132 pounds Mason Sells, 3rd place, 3rd place Mason Sells from Blackman, 4th place Thomas Wisnowski, Father Ryan, 7th place Frank Perizzini from NBA. Frank, Frank Perizzini. Love it. Uh, 138 pounds. First place, Christian Isbell from Clarksville. Fourth place, Riley Bennett from Fairview. Seventh place, Alton Cates from Overton. Eighth place, Sean Pitts from Father Ryan. 145 pounds, Cooper Finch from Brentwood. Fifth place, Justin Mumau, M U M O W, Mumau from Hendersonville. Sixth place, Robbie Barnes, MBA. 152 pounds, third place Mason Smith from Beach, fourth place Lawrence Mas Madsen from Father Ryan, fifth place Don McGuire from NBA. 160 pounds, Logan Spell from Brentwood, fifth place Ja'Cory Miller, Father Ryan, seventh place Avion Green from Overton. 170 pounds, fourth place Anthony Gomez of Blackman, fifth place Drew White of FRA, 182 pounds, Gabe Smith, Clarksville, third place. 195 pounds. Parker Peterson from Father Prime took the championship. Johnny Mack Feldhacker from NBA, uh, from, I'm sorry, from Brentwood High. Johnny Mack Feldhacker, Brentwood High, second place. Third place, Cooper Richards, Springfield. Fourth place, Gabe Fisher, NBA. Eighth place, Jacob Clevenger from Fairview. 220 pounds. Bowdy Bice, or Bodie, B O W D Y. Bowdy Bice Blackman. Third place, fourth place, Elliot Grinder, Hume Fogg, 285 pounds, the big guys, Skylar Coffey from, from Brentwood, took the championship, five matches, five pins, that's how it's done. Second place, Ryan Jackson, Friendship, and sixth place, Ryan Smith from Summit. So that's my wrestling uh, <laughs> recap. All right, so there you go. Uh, sports Nashville High School Sports Show, we're going to put this out on YouTube, we're going to put it on the Twitter. Uh, see what happens. Thanks for following along. Get those results into Max Preps or TWSAA for your basketball uh, results. And uh, I'll be out there. I'll be, I'll be doing some uh, video and some, some uh, photography. Uh, just whatever it is to support the local high school kids. Thanks for watching.